Captain. Sea virus. That's what the guerrillas were calling it. <laughs> nice to see the cavalry's here. Who are you? I work here. My name's Ada Wong. They held me hostage. Sea virus. Carla Radamez is one of the two main antagonists of the game, Resident Evil 6. Founder of the bioterrorist group calling themselves Neo Umbrella, Carla is a former associate of the National Security Advisor Derek C. Simmons, and the creator of the highly versatile C virus that has become quite a problem during the events of the game. Thanks to her association with Simmons, by the time the events of Resident Evil 6 roll around, her life has become a complete sham. Thanks to an obsessive desire by her former mentor, Carla is now an exact duplicate of a woman named Ada Wong, an outcome which Carla never agreed to and which has driven this young woman to seek revenge on her former friend and mentor, Derek C. Simmons. At first, you'll be afraid, but don't worry, you're just becoming the monster you always were. You and everyone else on the planet. The story of Carla Radamez as we know it begins with her education. From a young age, we know that Carla was remarkably talented in the sciences, managing to graduate at the mere age of 15 with a doctorate in the field of genetics. This remarkable feat, of course, didn't go unnoticed, and a man named Derek C. Simmons took note of this impressive girl, recruiting this prodigy and introducing her to the world of bioorganic weapons and manufactured viruses. As could be expected, Carla excelled in her research, driven by a desire to prove herself to her new mentor, Simmons. Simmons, for his part, was impressed by Carla's aptitude in the field, and would shower her with compliments and praise. This praise driving Carla to work even harder, deepening her devotion to the man who had taken her under his wing. With the culmination of this devotion coming in the form of a manufactured virus, which Carla called the C-Virus. In 2001, Carla began work on a virus that combined the properties of both the T. Veronica virus and the G virus. Using the G virus, Carla was able to remove most of the major defects of the original T. Veronica virus and bolster its ability to cause rapid DNA mutations. This research yielded a virus that was incredibly versatile, known as the C or chrysalid virus. Named as such because once a person was injected, they would continually mutate until they reached a point at which their entire body would be covered by a thick, cocoon-like structure. Inside of this cocoon, the host's body would be broken down by the virus and reformed, creating something altogether different from the initial host that had been injected. Wait! We've got no choice. We have to kill him! Do the same for us! Carla brought this virus to her mentor Derek Simmons, with hopes of deepening his adoration for her talents. Simmons was impressed by the seemingly endless capabilities that the virus had, but of those capabilities, there was only one that he was truly interested in. Years ago, Simmons had worked with a woman named Ada Wong, an impressive spy who had seen all of his missions through to perfection. Unfortunately, a rift had formed in their working relationship, and Ada had left his employ after learning of his involvement in the Raccoon City incident. Simmons saw this new virus and its remarkable ability to remold a person's DNA, and immediately saw it as a way to get his relationship with Ada back in some capacity. He instructed Carla to begin work on creating a clone of Ada Wong, and in her devotion, Carla followed his command wholeheartedly. Over the course of the next 10 years, Carla worked tirelessly on this project to recreate Ada. However, time and again, her attempts fell short. 
Creatures such as the Lipotitsa and the Genezu were created as byproducts of these experiments, but even with thousands of attempts under her belt, Carla couldn't seem to recreate the woman that Simmons was so infatuated with. Growing impatient that he wasn't getting the results that he desired, Simmons found out that Carla herself was actually the perfect genetic candidate to take place in the experiments. For Simmons, this meant that Carla was destined to be used in the pursuit of his goals, and he tricked the devoted young girl into taking part in the experiment. Carla believed that she was too valuable to Simmons to risk, that her prowess in the field was too important for Simmons to subject her to her own virus. But, unfortunately for Carla, she was wrong. In 2009, the woman known as Carla Radamez was reborn as a clone of Simmons' obsession, Ada Wong. Carla's mind was virtually gone, reducing her to a blank slate, and on that slate, Simmons worked hard to mold her into an exact replica of Ada. This brainwashing was effective, with Carla believing herself to actually be Ada Wong, or at least the version of Ada Wong that Simmons wanted her to be. However, deep down in her subconscious, a small piece of Carla remained, and as time went on, this piece began to grow. This piece of Carla resented Simmons and wanted to see everything that he loved destroyed. But this clashed with the love that she had been brainwashed to feel for him. And so, over the course of the next few years, a war waged inside of Carla's broken mind. At first, she pushed away this sense of resentment that she felt for Simmons, telling herself that he would never betray her and that this small piece of her was unfounded. Meanwhile, Simmons continued to treat her as if she were the real Ada Wong, entrusting her with important missions and even giving her control over his organization the family's East Asian soldiers. However, Carla was never able to shake this sense of distrust towards Simmons, and over time, she became unable to subdue this part of her mind that screamed for her to destroy him. So, in secret, Carla formed an organization known as Neo Umbrella, and with the facilities that Simmons had given her in China, she began to perform extensive tests with the C-Virus, creating all manner of new BOWs such as Ustinac to help her with her future plans. Carla became infatuated with Simmons' downfall, but she didn't just want to kill him, she wanted to see him suffer, his entire world crumble beneath his feet. Thanks to her extensive time with Derek Simmons, Carla had learned that, above all else, Simmons valued stability. His entire life focused on maintaining the stability in every aspect of his being. So, if Carla was to get true revenge on him, then she would need to take this stability away from him in every aspect of his life that she could. This desire brought Carla to the goal of creating an ultimate B.O.W one that could rain chaos and destruction on the entire planet, destroying the stability of society as a whole. This creature would be imbued with an ability much like the Lipotitsas, able to turn everyone within a certain radius into zombies. Not only that, but it would be able to multiply, ensuring that it could cover the entire planet with no chance for Simmons to escape its grasp on the Earth. The creation of such a creature would require time and secrecy, however, so an underwater facility was created to house this ultimate B.O.W. until it was ready to be unleashed on the world. Neo Umbrella referred to this creature as House, and Carla expected that once it was prepared, it would become the king of this new chaotic world that she hoped to create. was only step one of the plan, however, 
And as Carla continued to work under Simmons, plotting his downfall, she came to learn of a young man named Jake Muller. Simmons sent Carla into Edonia, unaware of her treachery, to see if this young man, the son of the infamous Albert Wesker, held antibodies in his blood that could be used to combat the effects of the C-Virus. Simmons had sent in Agent Sherry Birkin to retrieve Jake Muller, and Carla was sent in to confirm that his blood held the antibodies and ensure that the new duo made it out of Edonia in one piece. Carla had different plans for Jake, however, and following the directions of Simmons, she went to Edonia, going to Jake's employers at the time, the Edonian Liberation Army, and giving them samples of the C-Virus, sold to them under the guise that they were energy boosters to help their soldiers in battle. Jake, being under their employ, was given one of these samples of the C-Virus, but seeing that it had no effect on him, Carla began to plot her next move. Calling in one of her most powerful creations, Ustanak, Carla sent the very capable B.O.W. to capture Jake and his new partner, Sherry. Meanwhile, Carla made her way back to the headquarters of the Edonian Liberation Army, where she had a run-in with Chris Redfield. Leading his team into a trap, Carla, still going by the name of Ada Wong, transformed the bulk of Chris's team into B.O.W.'s and in so doing, created a new enemy in the veteran soldier. After her run-in with Chris, Carla headed to the rendezvous point she had set with Ustanek, who had made good on his task of capturing his targets. Carla told Jake of his lineage, before taking both he and Sherry to China, where they would be held for the next six months. During this time, Carla would use DNA from Jake to enhance the already impressive properties of the C-Virus, in an attempt to create something that would truly wreak havoc on those whom it infected. With this new virus created, Carla got in contact with the real Ada Wong in June of 2013. Disguising herself as Derek Simmons, Carla led Ada to a submarine that had been given to her by Simmons and showed her information about her mission to learn of Jake Muller in Edonia. After learning about this, Carla contacted Ada again, this time leading her to Tall Oaks, where Simmons was planning an attack on the small town in a plot to kill the President of the United States. However, as the real Ada followed the instructions of the false Simmons, she eventually stumbled upon a tape that showed her that a clone of herself had been created. Putting the pieces together, she figured out that the Simmons that had been contacting her was a fraud. And upon being called out as such, Carla ceased her communications with the true Ada altogether. Simmons would never be foolish enough to show his cards. He and his family want one thing. To stabilize and sustain the system they've created. But you... You want to destroy it. And the world will blame you. With everything falling into place for Carla to see her plans come to fruition, she began to unleash chaos in China creating a warm welcome for Simmons, who had been informed of her plot to destroy him by the real Ada Wong, and was on his way to confront her. In this chaos, however, Carla ran into an old enemy of hers, Chris Redfield, and he, along with his partner, Piers Nivens, tailed the Ada lookalike all around the city of Lan Xiang. Eventually, Carla managed to make her way to an aircraft carrier and momentarily evade her pursuers. Carla learned that one of her Juavo that she sent to locate and infect Simmons had succeeded, her master plan finally having been made reality. Simmons' body would become a breeding ground for instability. The enhanced C-Virus would continually transform his body, taking away the stability that he craved even from his very being. 
However, shortly after she'd managed to infect Simmons, members of Simmons the family found her. Cornered by Chris Redfield and Piers Nivens on the aircraft carrier, Carla was surprised by a helicopter carrying members of the family. These goons of Simmons shot the Ada doppelganger through the chest, and as she bled from the wound, she fell from the upper levels of the aircraft carrier all the way to the deck. Carla laid on the deck of the aircraft carrier, her plans having been realized, her goals having been met. She'd infected Simmons so that he could see the chaos that was to come when Howells was unleashed on the world. All of the pieces for her legacy and for her revenge were falling into place. Yet, as she lay there, this other Ada approached her, questioning why she bothered to contact her in the first place, suggesting that perhaps a small piece of her conscience knew that her plans had to be stopped and that the real Ada was one of the only people who could do it. But no. No, she was the real Ada. Her plans weren't failing, they were thriving. This world would soon be plunged into the chaos that she had for so long worked for. And as this new power of the enhanced C virus coursed through her veins, she now had the strength to help usher in this new age of nightmares. Get over yourself. Help me? I'm the real Ada one. I don't need help from anyone. My plans aren't failing. They're thriving. Ah, 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 nothing! <laughs>